Okay, everybody. Um, I haven't made a screencast in a long time, but I thought this was a, an important thing um, as an advanced developer um, to be able to use some of the great packages in um, Sublime Text to make your life as a developer more productive. Um, so first things first, um, I would suggest that um, this movie is about renaming your files without having to go over here um, to your um, editor and you know rename your files using you know point and click um, sublime text has a wonderful plugin um, called dired d i r e d and let me do control shift p and install or i already have it installed it's called dired um, and basically it allows you to rename your files and directories within the sublime text editor so I've already installed it and you know all you gotta do is just do control shift P type in dired and install it and basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you some of the tricks that I've been able to use with dired to rename my directory so of course now I've done control shift P and have gone to dired and so I'm just going to go anywhere and I'm going to go to the directory that I want to rename stuff in. So uh, it's web app company. And then it gives you a list of all the files and directories within there. So basically I want to go into, I want to, and then it gives you a list of commands that you can use um, right here. So I want to go ahead and use the G command to go to a directory and then I start typing what's in that directory the directory that I want to go to which is dev and then I just hit start I type D and just hit dev and then um, I type W well let's see what's in dev so then I see there's WP content so I type in G again and so I want to go into WP content so I type W then hit tab and then I see there's plugins so I type in G again and then I type in P and as you can see there's a pattern so this is the plugin uh, where this is the folder where I want to change it and I want to make all of my files that say plugin name to say WP license manager so I'm gonna go ahead and type in G again and go into WP license manager and the first one I see is plugin name right here so I want to make that license WP license manager so I rename by hitting shift R so shift R then I just go down to the plugin and since I already have the paste remember just hit V and I mean command V and boom and then you hit this control enter and boom it's changed and as you can see it's changed down here in the um, in the folder so but this really works well when you want to uh, do multiple files so let's go to I includes and as you can see we have a bunch of files that we want to rename here so I'm just gonna go here and then hit control D and then hit com I mean command D and then hit command V man yo man ah doesn't matter so I'll just go here and just type in uh, um, well, it's not letting me do anything okay so I'll just do this like this oh duh I didn't hit shift I didn't hit rename so I <laughs> so shift R now I can rename all these so I'm just gonna go and do command D and then hit command V and boom we have them all changed and then hit control enter and that's a really good function because then you know you don't accidentally rename stuff without consciously you know hitting the control so as you can see all of them have been named class you know um, they've all been renamed so now I want to go up a directory so all I do is hit U and so I'm up a directory and I can go into admin um, so hit G and then hit A and then hit tab and so then I can go into Oh, I need to change that, so I need to hit uh, Shift R and then change this. 
And so you get the idea. Um, you know, it's a great little plugin, and you can go ahead and bulk change without doing all that, you know, uh, clicking, and you're strictly using your keyboard. And this is a just a quick productivity uh, tip that I just wanted to give everybody. So um, thank you for watching.